myofascial pain syndrome and trigger points both of them are becoming a major health issue nowadays myofascial pain syndrome it is a chronic regional pain syndrome and its hallmark is myofascial trigger points so the trigger point trigger point is a hyper irritable area in a tight band of muscle and the pain originating from these areas is dull aching and deep there are four types of trigger points active trigger point latent trigger point secondary trigger point and satellite trigger point first of all active trigger point active trigger points typically lies with them within a muscle and pressure to it results in local or regional pain latent trigger point has the potential to be active but is dormant next secondary trigger point it is located in a muscle other than the one that holds the active trigger point it can be irritated at the same time as the active trigger point next satellite trigger point it has a unique property it is one of that becomes active because it overlaps with the region of another trigger point symptoms of myofascial pain syndrome are pain that is deep aching throbbing tight and stiff trigger points that has been discussed before muscle tenderness or soreness weakness in the affected muscles reduced range of motion in the affected areas other problems may also coincide with these symptoms including headache poor sleep stress anxiety depression and fatigue next causes of myofascial pain syndrome first of all chronic overload of muscle that may be due to repetitive use of muscle in a, when it is maintained in a shortened position for a long time acute overload of muscle such as picking up an object with unexpected weight poorly conditioned muscles such as not performing regular exercises postural stresses such as a workstation that is not ergonomically correct poor body mechanics working in a cold environment emotional stress and a pinched nerve next where does myofascial pain syndrome most commonly occur the most commonly affected muscles are those in the upper back shoulder and neck these muscles include sternocleidomastoid trapezius levator scapulae infraspinatus and rhomboids other areas may also be affected now the physical therapy treatment several techniques are used to eliminate trigger points including contract relax passive stress techniques contract relax active stress techniques trigger point release dry needling wet needling spray and stretch cold laser therapy ultrasound transcutaneous electric nerve stimulation acupuncture and relaxation techniques contract relax passive stress techniques and contract relax active stress techniques are used repetitively trigger points are released this reduces pain muscle tightness and stiffness dry needling helps to reduce pain increases blood flow and decreases muscle tightness in wet needling an injection of lidocaine is injected into the trigger point next medications such as analgesics ansets muscle relaxants steroids and antidepressants may also be helpful self treatment a person can do several remedies at home as well such as heat proper exercise regime over the counter painkillers can be used relaxation techniques including yo- including yoga dietary changes soaking in warm water next how to prevent myofascial pain syndrome and the trigger points sleep hygiene reduce your stress proper exercise 
avoid preventable muscle injury practice relaxation method and eat a healthy diet